As Amber mentioned earlier, our staff has been very busy throughout the year visiting our community partners and recognizing each of them for their partnership, which is the very essence of what United Way is all about and how that mission of giving hope is carried out. For our team, it's been a great way to pause and all this busyness we've created of the 75th anniversary to remember why we do what we do. Today, we've invited the executive directors and board chairs of four of our founding community partners to join us so that we can recognize them in a big way. I'd like to invite them to please make their way um, in front of the stage here, along with representatives from our board of directors and the community impact team. You've already met Becky and Nate, and I'd also like to recognize our Start Smart Chair, Liz Morgan, um, and Women United Chair, Natalie Harville. We could actually recognize the Boys and Girls Club of Lubbock twice as they really represent two of our founding members, the Lubbock Boys Club and the Optimist Boys Club. Originally founded during World War II, the clubs gave boys a safe place to be and recreational opportunities when families and the community were disrupted during the war effort. Don't worry ladies, your time was coming. Girls were then invited to join in the 1950s. Today, the Boys and Girls Club runs five clubs, four in Lubbock and one in Shallow Water. The JT and Margaret Talkington Club is the newest club in West Lubbock and that opened in 2019 to serve the students in Friendship ISD. In 2020, the clubs provided 1,342 students with affordable quality after school and summer care. With us today are Executive Director Tom Vermillion and Board Chair Scott Brown. Please join me in recognizing the Boys and Girls Club. The South Plains Council of the Boy Scouts of America was chartered in 1925 to teach boys across the South Plains to make ethical choices over their lifetime and achieve their full potential. The founding members of the council represented Lubbock, Post, and La Mesa. They set up scouting demonstrations in towns around the area and recruited boys from across the South Plains. Their first camp was held in July of 1925 and hosted 142 boys. Today, scouting continues to promote leadership skills through youth-led activities, community service, and outdoor adventure. In, 2000, in 2020, uh, more than 1,300 youth participated in the programs provided by the Boy Scouts. With us today are Executive Director Nathan By and Board Chair Chuck Hines. And please join me in recognition of 75 years of partnership with the South Plains Council Boy Scouts of America. The Girl Scouts of the Caprock Council formed in the 1930s. These first Girl Scouts blazed trails and redefined what was possible for themselves and for girls across the area. They shared a sense of adventure and a belief that they could do anything. Many of our local troops have also been involved in celebrating Hispanic heritage through troop events and local celebrations. In 2008, the Caprock Council joined with four other councils to form the Girl Scouts of the Texas Oklahoma Plains. Today, the organization continues to teach girls to practice a lifetime of leadership through access to girl-led experiences, skills, and connections. In 2020, nearly 1,700 girls participated, even from the comfort of their homes, through Project in a Box. With us today are Executive Director Becky Burton and Chair of the Local Advisory Board, Melinda Mitchell-Jones. Please join me in recognizing the Girl Scouts. The Salvation Army arrived in Lubbock in 1922. I'm not real good with math, but I think that was 99 years ago. <laughs> From its earliest founding in England throughout its history on the South Plains and around the world, its mission has always remained the same, and that is to meet human needs without discrimination. Throughout the Great Depression, World War II, our 1970 tornado here in Lubbock, through the pandemic, the salvation has always been meeting needs. 
But what matters even more are the everyday needs the organization meets in our community, including assistance with food, clothing, and shelter for individuals and families in times of need or crisis. And especially in 2020, uh, the Salvation Army really went above and beyond and served more than 3,000 people. With us today are Major David Worthy and Board Chair Cody Scott. Please recognize me and please help me in recognizing them for their partnership of 75 years with the Lubbock Area United Way.